haven't seen anything rise yet, but it's a beautiful day. It's roughly 12 degrees centigrade, which is still pretty cold, but it has been a lot colder previous days. So what I'm hoping is, with these flies that are flying around now, hopefully the fish will be waking up a little bit, wanting to feed. The water will still be very cold, but they might just feed. Here's the fly I'm using, it's a size 14 Adams. It's like a midgey pattern, and there's quite a lot of midges around today. As the year wears on, I'll probably reduce the size down to a 16 or even an 18, but early season you can get away with a 14. Just seen a fish rise down there as well, well out of range from here but when I go down, I know exactly where it was. It's gonna be very difficult to catch, but I've just seen it rise again. It was down about there-ish. And it doesn't look like a big fish. It's the only one that's rising, so I'm gonna have a go. Practically crawled down the river bank on my belly and sat here for about five minutes waiting for something to happen just risen again. Might still be out of range and I've got a pretty tricky back cast but I'm going to give it a go. Of course the easiest thing to do would just be to chuck a nymph on, cast upstream of it, let it drift down, bang. And I'd rather catch one fish on a dry fly than ten on a nymph. That's how picky I am. lights flashing on my camera. I'm gonna have to go to my backup. I knew I should have checked the battery before I came out. Let's get the backup out. Right, have we got power? Yeah, we've got half a battery by the looks of it. That'll do. Good. I've got a real tiny little fella just rising in front of me here. It doesn't seem bothered that I'm sitting on the bank right next to it. So I'm gonna try and catch that. Take long. Oh wow, it's grayling. Awesome, it's ages since I've seen one of these fellas. Well, that came out easy because it's a barbless hook. That's the grayling. Beautiful fish. Make sure your hands are wet and cold before touching them because they're very susceptible to heat. Beautiful fish. I'll get it back quickly. Ah, damn, if I'd thought on, I should have got a the video of it swimming away but it's it's gone away no problem anyway first fish of the year and it's a grayling and that's a great start and that's a really good sign for the river it means the river is healthy they're very very susceptible to pollution so I'd like to think there was more of these fellas in here let's find out I've got another one rising in front of me here not the best to cast, there's a lot of bankside vegetation still. Even after the raging floods, I thought it would be all washed away. Cast isn't the best. I've got brambles and all sorts below me, which makes controlling the line difficult, but I'm going to give it a go. so clear I could see that one coming up. Feels like another grayling. Oh no, it's a trout. Right. I'll get this one to hand and let you have a look. The 
There you go. Nice little brownie. Probably about three quarters of a pound. Not bad. There he goes. Just come a little bit further down the river. Crept down the bank side. We've got a big slow bend in front of me here. And there's two or three fish rising. Probably easily castable distance as well, so I'm going to give it a go. Right under the trees here, so I'm having to keep well down and cast it underneath the branches. That's where the little seven foot rod is perfect. I see people coming down here with nine and ten foot rods and they've got no chance of catching these fish. Not on a fly rod. <laughs> I just slapped it in and went to readjust it and there was a bloody fish came up and had a go at it. Off. It looked like a good fish as well. <laughs> that was a trout. Could be that this bit's been stocked, which would be very unusual because it's a private stretch. I'm not sure why it would get stocked. I know the farmer never stocks it. But that looked like another stocky. Could just be that they got stocked before the big raging floods and they've all been washed down. I don't know. I'm going to have another go though because they're still rising there. That was better. Dropped it on its nose, bang. Good solid connection. Be able to see what it is now. I lost those last two, they were shaking their heads almost like a sea trout. Nah, just a brownie. Nice one. There we go. Definitely a stocky, 100%. Yeah, he's got a deformed mouth as well. He's not a looker. He's going back. Then again, me saying that that isn't a looker. It's like the pot calling the kettle black. Another good connection. <laughs> Beautiful colour on it. Yeah, oh, that one's a good looking fish. It's a nice one. Raggy fins, but they'll, they'll heal up. He's going back. basically fished that just like a muddler, just boom, 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 boom along the top, and one grabbed a hold of it. Yet another stocky. There you go, yet another one. I think I'll catch one more out of this shoal and move downstream. I don't want to just be stocky bashing.
Well, that lad gave a better account of himself. He's going back. I don't know why I say he's going back. They all go back. It doesn't matter what size they are. Catching stocky after stocky after stocky. It's not my idea of fun. So I'm going to go downstream. Well, the battery on this camera is just about to die. So, <laughs> there's no point filming anymore. I um, hope you've enjoyed this video. It's very unfortunate that there was a big shoal of stockies there. I don't like catching stockies. I don't mind catching the odd one if they've been in a while, but if they're in just a big shoal, you can put anything on. It doesn't matter how rough you are getting the fly in, they'll eat it. And um, I just prefer catching the wild fish on the top. So really getting that grayling in the first half hour or so, that is the fish that I'll remember. Not all those stockies. Um, God, they're rising again and again. Rise, rise, rise. They're just all over the place. There's just fish everywhere and they're all damned stockies. I don't really like catching stockies. I don't mind if they've been in a while and they've got a bit of condition back. They get a, you know, a bit of belly to them and they've got a nice colour. The fins grow back nice. That's alright, but catching them, oh man, you might as well just be at a fish farm just lashing them out. You might as well use a net or dynamite or something. There's no fun in it. There's no skill in it. But hopefully you've enjoyed watching me catch a few of them. <laughs> With any luck, the next fishing video will have some wild fish in. I'll wait till the weather warms up a little bit because it's really only the stockies that I feel. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you next time. Alright, for those of you who are interested, this is the gear that I use when I go fishing on the river. We've got a rod here, which is 7 foot. It's a 6 piece Hardy Deluxe Smuggler. It's pretty old, it probably be classed as a collector's piece now, but it handles beautifully, perfect size for the river. We've got a, a pretty equally old System 2 reel with a weight 4, uh, what is it, Double, not double taper, um, is it double taper? Yeah, weight 4, double taper, floating line on there, that's ancient as well. <laughs> In fact, the only things that are relatively new are the flies, there's a little box of dry flies there, uh, I just use whatever's appropriate to the time of day or the season. Uh, I use four pound nylon which is very very thin but it's any amount enough for the river and I use gink to keep my flies afloat. That is it. Really that's as much as you need. You see these fellas going in with chest high neoprene waders and really they're just sitting on the bank fishing you know. You don't need all of that. You don't need huge waistcoats with flotation devices and everything. God damn, you know, you're just fishing in a little river. You just need light, small gear. That's it. I hope that one was caught on film, that one jumped out of the water for us. If I see a decent sized fish rise, I'll have a go for it, but if they're just stockies, I'm not going to bother. Although saying that, I might bring a big bucket down, take a load of stockies away and restock my pond. <laughs>